I had the basic bad experiences that I think everyone has had. I felt taken advantage of because I didn't know anything about cars. Most shops out there don't take the time with a customer to explain what's going on. Women um, trust other women more than they trust men. So I realized that it would be a really good idea to start an all-girl garage. My name is Demony Pollitt and I am the owner of Girlington Garage. I was never really interested in cars in general. I became a mechanic because I needed a career um, that I could support myself with. I really liked the idea of going into a non-traditional career. It was something exciting and different and I didn't know any women who were technicians. While I was at school I was working at dealerships. The automotive industry is completely dominated by males, obviously. The environment is really hostile. If you're not working, you're not making money. If someone comes up to you and asks you for help, that's taking away from the time that you're working. I was sweared at, I got in screaming fights, I was physically pushed a couple times. Um, it was shocking <laughs> and really rough. The only thing that kept me going was knowing that this was another step towards opening my own shop where I could create a different kind of environment. But right when I completed my business plan and started bringing it to banks, uh, the economy fell apart. The day I moved up was the day that Lehman Brothers folded and banks were no longer giving loans, period. So what we did was we used money that I had been planning on using for my retirement. But she knew what she was doing. When times are bad, people hold on to their cars longer. So she wasn't nearly as afraid of the recession as I was. We opened June 1st, 2009. From the beginning, I knew I was, it was going to be a huge success. I had no doubts. I won um, a Rising Star Award and it, um, it's in recognition of my vision, passion, leadership, and commitment to the future of Vermont, and it's given to 40 people under 40. Girlington Garage got um, best place for car repair in 2012. It was awesome. <laughs> I like getting awards. <laughs> but our main goal is to make sure that nobody leaves here feeling taken advantage of. I've had probably 15 cars, and I have been lied to, or condescended to, or um, disrespected, ultimately. And it was, you know, hard to get a good mechanic to tell me what was going on with my car and have me understand it. And they do that here. We have a window that looks out over onto the shop, so you can see what work is being done to your car. And we really try and answer any questions that the customer might have. Some of the techs have actually brought a part to me that, and they'll tell me this is the good part and this is your part and this is what happened to it and this is why we need to replace it. There's an honesty component that's really important to me. And some other places they don't, they just don't get the customer involved. This place right here, the customer is welcome to come to the shop. That brings uh, the honesty more. You know, I've been doing this for 35 years and uh, it would bother me if they, they didn't know what they were doing, but that's not the case here, okay? These ladies know what they're doing. I know that for a while, many other shops were calling us the dyke shop. And it's a man's world. This is a man's uh, at kind of atmosphere, but uh, Demony is doing what she can to change that. We have had a hard time staffing Girlington Garage. Originally, when we would put out ads, we would say Girlington Garage is hiring. And when we stopped putting our name in the ads, we did get a lot more responses. As soon as they found out who we were, they didn't want to apply anymore. The industry is very masculine, and guys don't want to be seen wearing a girl on their shirts. The tech that did work for us, before he would go to one of his daughter's baseball games, he would make sure and take off his Girlington t-shirt because he didn't want his neighbors to know that he worked for us. And we do have customers who come in and are really disappointed not to see more women working out in the shop, but hiring women as technicians is almost impossible. They're 
aren't any. Really, Girlington Garage is not actually about the girls working here. I mean, I wish it was. It's really about our customers. 60 to 80 percent of our customers are definitely women and women love us. I am a single woman in Vermont with family far, far away, so it's not like I have my dad here. I don't know how to change my own oil. I don't know anything about my car other than how to put gas in it, so it's really nice to be taken care of like that. Everyone come under the car. It's cool. <laughs> One of the things that we offer um, our car care classes, how to change a tire, does everyone know how to check her oil? What Sarah's looking for right now is the dipstick. And then you just pull it back up. I really see women who do the car care classes with us. They're not scared of their cars anymore. Just turn around the other way. Very tough and strong. You are. To have a clinic that's free, anybody can come and learn. It's, it's unbelievable. It's unheard of to me. I think that more women don't go into the automotive field only because it's not really presented as a job for women. The automotive industry, it's, it's got to change at some point, and I really would like to be a part of that change. Because people have had such bad experiences elsewhere, when they have a really good experience here, people are very thankful to have a place like this. So it's good. Whoa, good job. Yay. It's a little overwhelming. I mean, I, I thought that I was winding down for retirement, and Demony gave me a chance at 57 to like live a whole new life. So it's awesome. Owning this business is the best thing I've ever done. I don't ever want to do anything else. I love it. <laughs> I'm Gemini Pollitt, and I am proud to be a Vermont maker.